Thought Park are building a brand new roller coaster this year known as Hyperia and it is set to be the tallest and fastest in the UK. Now of course it is halfway built or it's being built at the moment and we know what type of coaster it's going to be, the layout, the standard trains that it's going to have. But today I thought it'd be fun to try and create some alternate universes in which Hyperia could reside in and by that I mean what if there was a separate reality where for instance the coaster had a backward seat at the back what if it even had a spinning back seat what if it had a longer layout and one of the biggest ones what if it wasn't even a Mac hyper coaster I'm going to discuss all of these different realities in the first episode of what I will be calling a new series what if Know, this might become a series talking about new coasters or maybe old coasters at parks that we know what if they were different so if you want to see another episode of this series then please be sure to subscribe to the channel it'd be so epic so to begin this episode will be formatted in the way that we'll be going from the start of Hyperia to the end of it and in real life we haven't even reached the end of it so oh my god just so much is happening I'm going to transport myself to another dimension. But we will begin with the things that we know definitely won't happen. Talk about things that could have happened in addition to its now form. And then also talk about things that could still potentially happen, even if they're as unlikely as me riding Hero again. But this whole thing is not prediction based. It is literally just me having fun. Yay. Either way, let's take it way back before the ride was even commissioned and shown to the public. And this one actually has a lot of proof behind it towards the fact it could have potentially happened. What if Hyperia wasn't even a Mac hypercoaster? And the reason it has a lot of proof towards it is because it literally was in the plans that BNM submitted a potential layout for this area. And it very much resembles a BNM hyper, a lot like Mako at SeaWorld or Shambhala at Portaventura. And as much as those rides are amazing and I would have loved one to come to this country, I don't know how I would have felt about it, especially after seeing what we're actually getting. But someone here has actually recreated that BNM hyper model that was shown in the plans. A big shout out to Jamie Rogers for making this. Let's give it a watch. As you can see, we're cresting the lift hill. It's a lovely purple colour scheme. I don't know whether that's actually what it was meant to be like, but it looks cool. And here we go. You can see it drops down sort of in Old Town where the first drop on Hyperia is a little bit. And then it goes straight into an airtime hill there. Wow. It just looks like a bog standard BLM Hyper. Coming down, clipping through the floor. Uh, and then you turn around here. Yeah, I, I do look at this and... I do appreciate the fact we're getting what we're getting. Comes back down from there, goes into another airtime hill. Oh, trims. You know, we might be getting trims on our Hyperia as well. You come down from that airtime hill there, go into oh, another airtime hill. What a surprise. Oh, okay. I think that's actually where Slammer is right now. That was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, another... <laughs> so many trims. Urgh. Nice little semi-turn helix thing to end off. Oh, an outer bank turn is very slow and into the brake run but with that being an actual thing that was submitted i'm really glad they didn't go through with it not to say that it wouldn't have been the best coaster in the country because it very clearly could have been and i know the layout is a lot longer but i just feel like that layout didn't have much oomph to it not much oomph and i feel like hyperia has heaps of that but we don't need to worry about that mac are on site and have made it what it is. But like I mentioned with that hyper coaster, it had a lot longer of a layout than Hyperia because, well, a very big description that people give is often in two words of the uh, Mac layout quite short. So, what if the layout for this ride was longer? Now, quite a while back before I did remake it properly, I actually made a Hyperia if it were longer video. But I pretty much had it follow the exact same layout as it normally does to start with. And then instead of going into its dive loop, it'd actually go into an airtime hill up into a zero G stall. You know what, I'm just going to watch this video through because it makes it so much easier to explain. Here you go, you're cresting the lift hill and it's the same drop. So innovative, making it so much better. And then the Immelman's the exact same. Yeah, there we go. This bit's the exact same. Oh, no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I forgot I did that. But then it goes into the rest of the layout. And as you can see, it's not a dive loop. It goes up into there. It's um, it's a lot different. A lot longer. A lot better. And as you can see as well, it goes over the top of Old Town and onto the area where Slammer and Black Mirror are. Because not only do I want to get rid of Slammer, because it's been sat there rotting. I would love to get rid of Black Mirror at any opportunity. Another airtime hill. 
and then into a halfway break run a mid course because it kind of has to and then we head into a splashdown which is there in real life exactly the same place court screw that massive flippy outer banky thing more airtime hills to end off and uh, that's that's pretty much it it does the job oh oh As much as I did make that, and I am talking about the fact that it could be longer, I'm actually one of those that believes as short of a ride as it is, you're going to get to that brake run and you're going to be wowed. If it went on for too long and longer, I think it would just lose momentum and everyone would be like, what's the point? Make it shorter. They can't win, really. But that layout that we've seen is, of course, finalised. It's not changing. So as the coaster then progressed even more in the build process, it kept rising up and up and it will continue to do so. And eventually, in a few months' time, the whole track will be done and hopefully the trains will be delivered. And yes, maybe like the plan, say it's going to open with a standard just Mac forward front facing train. But over in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Icon opened with the same train and then a few years later ended up getting a spinning car on the back. And what if a few years down the line Hyperia did end up getting a backward seat or a back spinning car? First of all, if that happened, death would occur. And second of all, Mac literally did it on DC Rivals, another hyper coaster. So it is possible. We're going to watch the backwards one first because I know that's going to be easy to follow compared to the spinning one. Here we go then. We're in the recreation. Ignore the inside of the station. It looks awful. As you can see, we're banking around backwards. That's pretty cool. I like that. You'd be able to wave at the queue line. Hello. And we start ascending that lift hill. Uh, I can imagine the view off of that would be very insane. But as you can see, it's just grass in this world we're going up. I actually haven't watched this yet, so I don't know how stupid this is going to be. Oh god, we are insanely high up, oh my Christ. Here we go, we drop in, oh no. What? Look at that whip off the drop. With lap bars as well, that, it'd just be the best coaster in the world. Right, so you've flown off your seat, and then we go down here. Nice near miss with the supports, Jesus. That in woman would provide some great airtime. What's this gonna feel like backwards? Probably crazy, right? Yeah. I'm struggling to process any of this. I can't imagine what the spinning one's gonna be like. Into the dive loop. My God. It's so disorientating, I don't like it. Flash down, I'll get a lovely view of that. Round here. I mean, that's even more banked in real life, so that'd be crazy. And then into the final airtime hill. We've watched it backwards. Get ready for spinning because that was crazy enough. I, I can't imagine what the spinning one's going to be like, especially in this game. It'll just spin way too much. Here we go. Out of the station. Oh my god. <laughs> it's already started. I genuinely can't believe it's spinning that much already. Oh, we're we just going to go back and forth the whole way. Here we go. What's this drop going to be like? It's on the back row as well, so it'll just be mental. Oh, <laughs> that can't exist. It's not allowed. <laughs> right, okay, we'll skip that part because, like, I'm just going to sit on it for ages. Oh, my God. You just can't see where you're going. <laughs> right, what's this going to be like now? Oh, my God. <laughs> if you thought the back row was intimidating. Intimidating? See, I was just messing up the words. If you thought that was disorientating... Now you've seen this, what do you think now? Okay, the dive loop, this will be the least crazy part of it. Yeah, see, it flattens out. Not for them, Jesus Christ. Let me go up. Well. I need to go to bed. What do you think to these what-ifs? Leave it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe. Good night.